quiet. We'll make a picture. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet, please. Quiet. Hammer. Action. <laughs> oh, shit. Before the movies could speak, the mechanics of their actual making held a fascination, a magic, and an aura of mystery for the audiences that flocked to see them. to be an incredible conjuring trick. Hollywood, the growth of this suburb of Los Angeles known as Tinseltown, brought in new sophistication and with it a breed of actors and actresses who became stars. More than mortals, they seemed to be gods and goddesses. They appeared to have skills that made the unbelievable believable. Audiences thought the words that they uttered were their own, as if the characters they impersonated were a real life extension of their own personalities. But to prove they were just like you and I, this is a movie about their off days. As the advertising blurb used to say, it's the film of the year with the cast of the century. Who are they? No. So I think I'll keep on sitting right in the All thing. Right. Did you know it was Eddie Moore's blonde wife Regan was supposed to run off with? Who doesn't? Did you know that Eddie Moore's owned the gun? God damn it. Come Alameda will send us wind and uh, weather position changes and ships and so on the thing. <clears throat> now, let's... You know, my mother wrote in the flyleaf to my, my, my dear little Gabriel. That means <laughs> nuts. That was what the poets called one of those lovely things that isn't meant to last. One ham on. Get me Kel goings on. Sally, what's the matter? Are you unhappy about something? What is it? Is it love? I haven't said my life yet. Cut it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm just fed up moping around here. Well, I hope you don't think that I'm enjoying it. Well, it's this business of waiting, waiting, waiting for something to happen. That's what burns me up. And the fact that I can't remember the line burns me up more. <laughs> they don't need to justify their lives. I do. I'm a physician. I'm a surgeon, God damn it! Don't you like beer? I do like beer, but out here you can go for walks and, and get that fine, cool air on your chest. Go swimming in little pools and... Holy Christ, where am I? 
Fan magazines boosted the image of infallible human beings. They all lived in glorious homes, never looked untidy, never went to the toilet, never shaved, and were only allowed to slip contrived by a skilled publicist. On the Rolf days, four boobs were, and still are, the most common. Actors are known to have sleepless nights thinking about them. Alan Jenkins, and not from choice, illustrates them. He forgets his lines, he fluffs his lines, is foiled by a prop, and finally suffers the worst of all, the dreaded dry mouth. The king gets shot, and it's back and forth. So forgets. On and so on and so on. She starts crying, more and more. Finally, she gets sort of crazy. They drag her out. Oh, nuts. Oh, Fluffs. come on, Peggy, be a sport. The guys in our outfit are dependent on this boy and his guitar tonight. God damn it. That's good, man. Fights a prop. Coming. Listen, I have half a mind. Here, don't do that again. You have half a mind, all right. I get, I get goose there. Dry mouth. Baby, tell me you're safe and that I ain't dreaming. What's the matter? Have you gone cuckoo? On my way over here, all I can think of was about the time I put gumdrops in your hiking group. <laughs> More stars than there were in the heavens filled the cinemas, and the Hollywood dream factories churned out adventure, romance, and thrills. But off days had no respect for reputations. Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a certain sort of goddamn knowledge that uh... Didn't Tanner come at your invitation? And didn't you try to get rid of him because you knew that your husband was coming home unexpectedly? That's not true. And didn't he refuse to leave because he knew the crevice in the gamma's crash? <laughs> Doc, I had another one of those goddamn fits. Could I bring a friend of mine, Steve Trilling, along? He has fits every day. Kill it. <laughs> Hi, Andy. That was quite a snootful you had last night. Why? Uh, breakfast will be in ten minutes, Stevie. Thank you, ma'am. Ah! There. You're still surprised why I'm angry? God damn uh, And every time we rehearsed the scene, she pulled that same trick. Now, you know an actress of any sensitivity would oh, ever... Uh, Sally, darling. <laughs> what are you... Sally, this is Stanley Blake. Sally of... of... Sally. Oh, you know. <laughs> well, for what... No, that ain't it. Before you... Long before that, you're gonna... Well, the whole thing ties up. Cloverdale, a girl that wins and loses and loses. Right. Cloverdale? That's all right. Well, the whole thing ties up. The whole thing hooks up. Cloverdale, a girl who wins and loses the Lucky Legs contest. The local doctor's a friend. Surgical... Oh, Christ. Hold it. Quit that and telephone wires. Spend your time building up new rackets. So that when Clarin comes up for air, you find a dozen more guys. Go, 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 go. <laughs> I didn't try and take it over. I took it over. You think we might object? Well, why should you? I've proven to you that I could run it better than anyone else. Tenor isn't any good. Yes, you, you've given us a nice bit of revenue. Well, I've given you more than any four of them put together. And you will keep on doing it. Provided you give me your yeah, present. you know what I mean? All this. <laughs> and remember, you may be only a big brother to me. Oh, God damn. I punched Trump. You think you're clever, don't you? You've been getting away from this murder for oh, Mr. Buck, I don't uh, know the next line. <laughs> uh, now, I'm screwy about it. The green fields and fresh air. Yeah, green uh, fields. <laughs> Disappeared? Yes, yeah, surprise, eh? Well, what happened to her? Well, that's for you to tell us. Listen, I've told you everything I know. I've got a team and record all my life. I know a voice when I hear one. I'm going to send you to the best teacher in New York. We'll split 50-50 in the hell with it. That's right, thanks. Santa Claus trying to bring fame and fortune to young boys? You don't mean a thing to me except ready money. And I don't mean to think that goddamn thing to my... <laughs> bigger problems of life, they gotta fight their way through with guns. Hold it for a still. Hold it for a time. She divorced him, married me. She saw him in... Uh, Sorry, yeah. Ready? All right, you. It's the graveyard of the civilization that shot from under us, the world of outmoded ideas. Ah, that's very good. Well, well that was very good. If I only knew the line now, how beautifully we could play this scene. <laughs> the major studios turned out expensive star vehicles, but quantity was demanded by cinema goers, and the supporting program included a second feature and shorts. 
The second feature was usually a budget job, low on cost, high on improvisation. A popular series featured the Dead End Kids, who became the East Side Kids, then the Bowery Boys. Here's an unexpected accident. No retakes in this film. The writer adds some dialogue to cover, and they hope they can repair the car for the next scene. Here's your grub. I'll see you at lunchtime. Thanks. Go on, you little ants. Get to the plant. That's it, ants and the plants. Longfellow. Hmm. Better have that fixed, kind of spoils the appearance of the car. Later, the car is needed for this scene. Leo Gorsi wasn't on, told that they had to replace the vehicle hey, with one with less Are wheels. Are you kidding? Where's the motor? You the motor. Start pedaling. You can limber up for the golden gloves. You want me to become anemic? Go on, get your legs on those pedals before I break them off. Who ever heard of a manager training for a fight? You did, starting right now. Come on, roll it out. Don't go through any red lights. I won't. Many actors were frightened of props. Up, they brought fresh hazards in all shapes and sizes. Hammer! Go! Oh, my elixir of life. If this looks familiar, only the color and the ice are missing. It actually happened 50 years ago. You dunk! You! You realize this suit cost $250? Brother, you were stuck. Chris, well, what are you doing here? Practicing my broken field running. Oh. Drink? No, thanks, no. I'll uh, take it. God damn it, you can give this to Sadie Fryer, will you? I, I, I can't do this. All right. Get it. Damn it. There it goes. <laughs> you think that, but you don't know. Right. <laughs> Look, you got me wrong, mister. I can handle these sun-kissed Romeos. All I want to do is earn a few bucks, and I'll be on my way. You're on your way right now. But I told you I'm broke. I counted on a few weeks' salary here. Well, you can stop counting on it. There's a boat leaving for the States tomorrow night. Son of a bitch. Uh, with this cigar, I've swallowed 18 mouthfuls. <laughs> that sucker jumped three feet in the air and come down stiff as a board. Me? I'll still be in the goddamn thing jam. <laughs> Just what I've been looking for. Mrs. Swinnerton. Mrs. Swinnerton. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> My goodness, just imagine, 10 million people listening at one time. What a colossal invention in miniature. Our oh, Paul. Oh, uh, a letter came this morning. If I can find the goddamn thing. Yeah, where it is. Mary! Oh, no. You get out. You turn right around and leave. Oh, but Mary! You heard me. I planned for four years how you were going to see me, and it wasn't going to be like this. You get out and count to 20 and then come in again. All right, Mary. Hello, John. Hiya, Fred. God damn it. All right, okay. What's all this monkey business? What is the kid? Get out of the woods. myself out if anybody well we're ready to listen what's the deal well just like it says there oh christ it's not miss nightingale you can't stay here in this freezing cold this won't kill me if anything kills me it will be my anger against This is going to be a tough one. Boy, this is going to be a tough one. 
Take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. <laughs> Can we do it over? Yes, we put the gas <laughs> All right, now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress on. <laughs> All right, now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress on. <laughs> Now take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. Ew. <laughs> By the time she was seven, Shirley Temple was a big star. But she started her career in a short which made fun of movie boobs. If they had a really off day, then the boobs were not only self-inflicted, but brought about a great deal of self-criticism, and sometimes comments from the other actors. You seem to have spilt your drink. Lovely party, isn't it? Schmuck. <laughs> you know, I haven't been in an apartment like this for a long time. It's been two years since I was in New York. How does it look to you? About the same as any other place these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, it's two years since I've been in New York. How does it look to you? Well, about the same as every place else these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine, just fine. Well, I don't know whether you've laid any... Laid. Oh, eggs. You know, it's none of my goddamn... This is a deplorable situation. And something's got to be done about it. I'm not going to stand idly by it. Dad, can't you understand that I... that I don't want to go to the dance? Oh, I know you're trying to be a good sport about it, but I'm going to get to... Who was that? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Well, I've seen oh, him around. Seen him around where? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you asked for? Alma. Qu'est-ce que vous avez maintenant pour moi? Alma. Ah, uh, vous avez... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> a girl in here on a shoplifting beef is going to escape with me. Why don't you make it a general... Foo. <laughs> Why don't you make it a general jail delivery? Then you'll really have something. Oh, why in the hell can I think of a goddamn line? But we'll meet again. And I'll write to you from wherever I find it. God damn it. Oh, start again. 
bitch. Oh. Good night, love. With this moon, is there no romance in your heart? The goddamned, I can never think of the goddamned <laughs> line. <laughs> What's the idea of saying that I don't remember my lines now? Did you or did you not write me a ballet, which I pay you for three times in Paris? Too much. That's lousy. An order of transfer from the senior officer, president of float. I'm goddamn if I know why, but that's the only... That'll hold up for a while. I'm starved to death. There'll be a couple of minutes. <laughs> How old are you, Diggers? You're, you're too conventional. <laughs> Huh? I'm all through. <laughs> now, more than 20 years later, with every power arming to the teeth, for preparing for... God damn it. All right, pick it up, Joe. Thanks very much, miss. And don't try to use that phone again, are you? No, I didn't bring any costumes with me, but... I'll be goddamned if I knew what the line was. <laughs> don't try and fool me. I'm a... I'm a final bitch. All right. But then I didn't know. I didn't know that heaven was a little spot in Honolulu. Oh, good God. Go on, go on, go on. That stinks. All right. We'll continue. Don't pull your hair. Don't take your hair. Quiet. Don't pull your hair back. You ready? All right. Don't pull your hair back. Now okay, look, Siler, I gotta see if you don't mind. <laughs> don't pull your hair back. I thought perhaps you were. Did you find out that you were free tonight? That's the wrong goddamn line, yeah. isn't it? Huh? <laughs> I said my name was Rex Durant. Well, <laughs> we're up high in a cold. <laughs> Sir, Johnny Rocco was more than a king. He was an emperor. His rule extended over beer, the slot machines, the numbers racket and a dozen other forbidden enterprises. He was a master of the fix. Jesus, why is he around at that face? <laughs> Say, I meant to tell you, I fixed up a little lab on the porch. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. Found a table I could use. Had to extend the gas connection a bit for the Bunsen burner. Look, I hope you don't mind regret, uh, goddamn regret having that. Yeah, why don't you? I hope you don't mind. Are you comfortable in the house? Very. Josephine's a fine cook. I'll probably end up getting fat. <laughs> I hope you don't mind. I meant to tell you that if I got the line right, I was going to build a laboratory <laughs> on the goddamn port. Egan was murdered for money. Anderson was murdered because he discovered Egan's secret. Sladen was promised a getaway. I'm taking Stone and Barnett to the... God damn it. Mary Ann didn't tell you anything. You were yourself were in the courtyard. God damn it, I had it up to there. You know, I, I should have called, but uh, I was in the neighborhood. I was just coming home from the club and saw a nut. Right. <laughs> in the neighborhood. Are you in trouble? Now, this is no time for heroics. They're out for blood. I'll just take my chance. Now, don't be silly. Why should an innocent person take it? You know what me. All right. You know me? What's that? Don't be afraid. It's only a little blood bite. Oh, blood, 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 blood. <laughs> Scalp him off the head of that. My gentle puck. Yeah. My gentle puck. Take this transformed scalp from off the head of this is Sweeney. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to build a love of. Oh, a love of wall. God damn it, I'm sorry. This isn't my bedding. Oh, You're bedding. Damn it. Any answers, sir? No. It must be wonderful to be a newspaper man and have such beautiful childlike. God damn it! Oh. I can give you a lot of reasons. Hey, what was that line? Mm. Yes. Can you give me one good reason? Uh, uh, sorry, you give me the cue. Uh, 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 Jim. You shall go leave here now, and no cost, not money. Oh, Jesus Christ. In which he states that the airlines that join South America and the United States 
will be of immeasurable economic value and intrinsic value, or whatever the hell the other word is. <laughs> there are thousands just like Phillips. Honest, decent, self-respecting men who've lost their jobs through no fault of that own God damn it, let me start right away again. Gee, I'm lucky. Lucky? Say, you want to be secondary to yeah, yeah, Chicago. <laughs> You see, they're down to their last 12 bucks. And I think it'd be my if I just bought oh, good Jesus Christ what's the matter with them. And just to keep the record straight, boys, you might tell your palpitating readers that the first subscription on the list, and for one mi one million buried guys. Wait a minute, maybe he's got something there. One good night's haul out of this and we can all go home. I'll be a son. Oh, let's go ahead. Just do some more paper figuring. You're one of these destructive critics. You say everything a guy does, oh, Jesus Christ. Chuck was on the point of exposing Marcia unless she cleared up. So, so. God damn it. With my heart's best affections and all my worldly goods, I the endow. Join your right hands again. <coughs> so why should Fitz... Oh, God damn, let's pick it up. I thought you promised not to lecture. But, I'm stuck. <laughs> Take a tip from the family physician. Now, damn, I can't remember that damn thing. Take it right up for me. What's to be done? I don't know what's to be done. I don't know. About this time, the world outside the Dream Factory was having a pretty spectacular off day of its own. Some entertainers crave punishment. He's really going to blow himself up. There he is, safe and sound. Although he'll probably never sing again. And it's not limited to men. Women can be equally as foolhardy. Perhaps there's less explosive for such a frail creature. But no. Is she all right? Of course, the ringing in the ears will last a few weeks, and she'll be walking without support soon, perhaps. And here's a man who should have been blown up. You see, the actor's off days seem less important when other people's mistakes are on view. You could run out of snow on the crest of run. Hit a wave at a hundred knots on a choppy day. Lose a propeller. Lose the will to live. Lose a landing field. Try to imitate the birds. Successful. Try to be a racing driver. <laughs> Unsuccessfully. Play with fire on a motorbike.
try moving immovable objects with a motor car. Unsuccessfully. Try to land on water. Even bridge builders had their off days. to the drawing board. If planes were unsafe, how about airships? sometimes returned with only one wheel. And when the air is full of flying machines, sometimes one gets in the way of another. Some of the stars realized that theirs wasn't the real world. With death and destruction outside the studio, it's not surprising that they occasionally took their jobs less seriously. All right, we'll make a picture. Quiet! Quiet! Quiet, please! Quiet! Hammer! Action! Mr. President, <clears throat> Mr. McCombs. How, How do you do, do, Mr. President? A pleasure indeed, sir. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, Annie, you handle that cigar like a monkey handles a coconut. I beg your pardon. Mr. <laughs> President. make a statement. You haven't got a chance. Why, you dirty... Say, just a minute, this is supposed to be my dance. What are you doing here? I introduce you to my friend. I'm waiting for that goddamn truck to come out. Uh, the point is, Doctor, which do you favor? Uh, spending the cash for a new vestry at the cathedral or a new wing at the hospital? Uh, neither. I'd spend it for... I'd spend it for buying a new studio for Warner Brothers. <laughs> Oh, Harold, you are so somber in your black coat. Why do you not wear your gay white coat? No, no, no. no. Darren! I beg your pardon. We've lost it. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. Oh, come on. Uh. I want to see her suffer. 
please. I want to see her life torn apart. Please, Mrs. Kenner, don't get yourself excited. I know you have a great emotional distress, but let's try to be reasonable. By going to the police, what will you gain? Not for one man, more drugs in the African countries. Visit up. My dear, you know I never drink on an empty stomach. Get me something to eat, my child. Okay. No, 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 not that ridiculous thing. Now, if there's some caviar. Yes, in here. Uh, is it uh, decently chilled? No. Bill, darling. Hello. <laughs> Sally, I want you to meet Van Johnson, president <laughs> of the Actors Guild. How do you do? <laughs> da, da, da. Well, you told me to have a good time while you were away. Besides, I don't see why it would hurt you to play with Marty. Oh, no? <laughs> the idea is I'm taking the 45 to New York. Well, uh, the God. Uh, Oma, you don't know where I could find an apartment, do you? Why, sure, Joel. How about the King's Arms? King's Arms? Where's the King's Arms? Around the Queen's ass. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> really. The Western always provided a rich gold mine for action material and many an opportunity for a young, rising star. His billing improved as his career developed. The cheap western was sometimes shot in only three days. No time for retakes, no chance of a rehearsal. The cameraman had to pick up the action as he found it. Uh, no, there. Uh, perhaps there? Oh, well, they could always cut in stock material of actors falling off horses. Unless it was the principal villain. With unerring aim, our hero picks off his horse, which doesn't collapse in quite the way intended. Off runs the villain to catch a passing prairie schooner, and the scriptwriter sits down at his typewriter to compose scenes to cover. In the major studios, they had retakes. You old bastard. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. 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 You see, we, the Rangers, have been trying to get something on Judge Blake for months. God damn it, Denny <laughs> There's my partner, Judge Carter. Colonel, <laughs> <laughs> you're mistaken. I'm Lieutenant Colton, a Union officer, temporarily assigned to Secret Service, in hopes that we would, might be able to get rid of this thing that we got here. <laughs> well, Smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I can't raise my ass off the ground. Well, smoke, old boy, looks like our luck still holds. I still can't raise my ass off the ground. All women are gamblers, Emily. Otherwise, we'd never get married. <laughs> Scott? All women are gamblers. <laughs> In case you missed what Dennis Morgan messed up, here it is again. He gets his sexes mixed. All women are gamblers, Emily. Otherwise, we'd never get married. <laughs> Scott? All women are gamblers. <laughs> In the heyday of Hollywood, every face was familiar, apart from the stars. There were the legions of players who appeared in all kinds of situations, almost every day of the year. They, too, had their off days, 
but they risked making a boob at their peril. Say that a pun. Oh, Bobby, this is no time for jerk. Oh, okay. For jerky. <laughs> training either. Oh, I know, I know, but, um, uh... Try it again, try it again, try it again, try it again, try it again. That's right, man, that's right. A valiant doesn't taste of death but once. There's some goddamn thing like that. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? It's a swindle, the whole thing's a swindle. You just tried to get rid of me, didn't you? Pardon. <laughs> 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 Went to your house, didn't they? That's right. Yes. All three of the men did. And one of them deliberately took an awful sock at uh, old man... Uh, Got it. <laughs> Bright red lipstick. Mine's grown anemic. Here, make yourself beautiful for Eddie. Oh, I didn't think of that. And I can't think of anything else either. <laughs> no, don't put them in there. Put them with a 70. None of a bit. Wait a minute. Perhaps you can give me some advice. I'm supposed supposed to go on. Oh. Oh, if, oh, yeah, if, if you will, if, uh, but do you think you can, uh... <laughs> it's do or die for good old Metropolis High. You, you tell them, but you tell them, of uh, course. Uh, <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Bear. Hello, Watson. Yes, sir, they show good news in that telegram you sent, sir. And they show, that's what they show worried about. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome home, Mr. Bay. Hello, Watson. Yes, sir, they sure. <coughs> oh, God. Welcome home, Mr. Bay. Hello, Watson. Yes, sir, they sure good news in that telegram, sir. And. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know what. Because you wanted to get those checks. You thought if I would pay $1,000 cash now for them, that you could get a whole lot out of me. Uh, I uh, print that. No. That wasn't the reason. It just the climax of one wanting bake at God damn it. You are very clever, madame. You are very clever, madame. Dang it, I don't know whether you care or not. But my granddaughter's in jail for a crime she didn't commit. Now you tried to sell those checks. Ah! Golly, Moses. Where do you want the remains sent? Is it that bad? What happened, Mike? Gee, these New York women are certainly nuts. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> well, what have you been doing besides powdering your nose? I've been working on the first chapter of Sin Doesn't Pay. Have you seen Leavenworth? Not lately. Say, hey, Mr. Scott, I've never... Sure. I got it. Okay. Uh, Rio Pongo. What is that? Gulf of Guinea. The trading is uh, profitable. The weather. The weather. Oh, the... The, uh, the weather is... The, I know he's innocent. Will you please try and help him? Well, of course, I'll be very glad to do anything I can. <laughs> Not ten days ago, I turned down a million dollars profit on my 51%. <laughs> Claim him a goddamn sucker. <laughs> you're playing Santa Claus. That's what you're doing. Playing Santa Claus. Listen. And in a minute... <laughs> yeah? Send Lembrick. Once more, come on. All right, go ahead. Yeah? Send Lame Brain in here. <laughs> Look, you can stay here till your clothes dry out, but you better be off or on your way or All something right, okay. very soon because I screwed up the... Was there enough light in the alley for you to see the defendant very clearly? I could see pretty clearly, yes. Enough to swear, Slim Jacobs. God, it won't come. <laughs> so to help you get yourself back in the marine mood, I'm restricting you to quarters for, for ten days. Son of a bitch. You know, Jean, I believe that your reputation being at stake is one of the reasons why Father accepts... Oh, nuts. Sorry. Hello, I'm Joe Wilson. Oh, yeah, well, Joe Wilson's been in here, too. Uh, cup. All right, sir. We don't care to waste time, we accept. And we'll recommend your appointment at once. Will you be ready to take charge? I will. You louse, you cut me out of a line. Now, come on, come on, simulate firing as soon as you hit the line. Hold it. Okay. What a fine son of a bitch. <laughs> son of a bitch. Hold it. All right. Who the hell threw that? A different program every week. 
sometimes twice a week, each of which had to be promoted by the trailers. Torn from the pages of history, the greatest story ever told with a cast of thousands in glorious black and white. Black and white? Gone, who dreaded tomorrow's strange destiny. I'm very happy that the greatest commonwealth that... Oh, I blew it good. <laughs> the great... Thank you very much, Governor. Uh, oh, boy, did I blow that good. Thank you very much, uh, quiet, Governor. Quiet. Uh, Luther, uh, we have filmed it in natural color. Uh, Governor, uh, thank you very much. We have filmed it in natural color. And it will do a great, oh, boy. <laughs> it was great fun making the picture, but it'll be still greater fun. Fun. I'm all right. Keep going. Go back, please. Go back to the <laughs> The world premiere of Dodge City will be definitely held in your town. Oh, gee, I did wrong again. I, I can't pick it up. Among the supporting program can be found many young actors who were destined to make their mark on the world. Let's take another look at a set of boobs by someone who was to become America's leading man. <laughs> oh, sh Try not to hurt too much. <laughs> Can we do it over? Yes, we put the gas. <laughs> you know, I haven't been in an apartment like this for a long time. It's been two years since I was in New York. How does it look to you? Oh, about the same as any other place these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. You been getting any lately? Overtime, you mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is a deplorable... I take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt too much. Bill! <laughs> <laughs> Must be difficult for a man who has spent a lifetime stirring up a certain sort of goddamn knowledge that... Uh... Doc, I had another one of those goddamn fits. Could I bring a friend of mine, Steve Trilling, along? He has fits every day. Kill it. <laughs> you know, it's two years since I've been in New York. How does it look to you? Well, about the same as every place else these days, but good. You're looking blooming. Oh, I'm fine. Just fine. Well, I don't know whether you've laid any... Laid. Oh, eggs. <laughs> you know, it's none of my goddamn... An order of transfer from the senior officer, president of float. I'm goddamn if I know why, but that's the only... All right, now, take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress off. I thought perhaps you were. Did you find out that you were free tonight? That's the wrong goddamn line, yeah. isn't it? Huh? <laughs> All right, now, take a deep breath and hold it. I'll try not to hurt. I'll try to get the goddamn dress off. <laughs> Mary! Oh, no. You get out. You turn right around and leave. Oh, but Mary! You heard me. I planned for four years how you were going to see me, and it wasn't going to be like this. You get out and count to 20 and then come in again. All right, Mary. Hello, John. Hiya, Fred. God damn it. All right, okay. <laughs> Oh, shh. Bill, darling. Hello. <laughs> Sally, I want you to meet Van Johnson, president <laughs> of the Actors Guild. How do you do? <laughs> da, da, da. Say, I meant to tell you, I fixed up a little lab on the porch. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I found a table I could use. I had to extend the gas connection a bit for the Bunsen burner. Look, I hope you don't mind regret, uh, goddamn regret having that. Yeah, why don't you? I hope you don't mind. Are you comfortable in the house? 
Very. Josephine's a fine cook. I'll probably end up getting fat. <sighs> I hope you don't mind. I meant to tell you that if I got the line right, I was going to build a laboratory <laughs> on the goddamn port. Action, go. Oh, shh. The hell's the matter with him? Okay for town, Mr. Avery. Finally, you, George? Okay. after many rehearsals, all the crew is happy. But in 1936, Paul Muni has the last word. If I only knew the line now, how beautifully we could play this scene. <laughs>